Hello and welcome! I'm the Invisible Man, and today we are talking about King Schmidt Season 3, Episode 1. Boy, do I love this show! Oh yes! So the episode starts with Titus washing up on the beach, weird, and then he sees a seagull, calls it a sea pigeon, even more weird, and then he's like, don't judge me, you're alone on the beach too. I don't get it, he's so weird. Anyway, then we cut to New York, where we see Kimmy, who's throwing a party for graduating, sort of. She got her GD. And then Lillian's like, what's the next step? And then Kimmy's like, I think I'm gonna go to college. How expensive is that? And then she finds out later, but we'll get into that later. And then she's gotta sign the divorce papers to get rid of the reverend, evil reverend. And then she can unmarry him and he can marry someone else. But then Jacqueline gives her advice. Don't sign the papers just yet. You can take advantage of this guy. Yeah, because if there's one person you want to take advice from, it's a divorcee that got nothing in the divorce. Great idea. And so then she plays phone tag with the reverend. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not here right now. Beep. And then it's like, I'm busy milking a cow while fighting a leprechaun or something. I don't know. And then she feels this power over him because now she's commanding the reverend and he's the one that can't leave. Oh, how the tables have turned. Meanwhile, Lillian tries to prevent gentrification with Fred Armisen, but she thinks he might be a murderer. Weird. And then she's like, I think we need to talk about our relationship. And he's like, bye later, bitch. And then Titus arrives home, finds Kimmy sleeping in his bed, and then he's like, Kimberly, what are you doing in my bed? And then she's like, Titus, you're not supposed to be home for another two months. What happened? And he's like, what? Cruises end early all the time. Don't judge me. And then she's like, whoa, you got the lead role? What happened to the other actor? And he's like, uh, she's fine. You don't know anything. I didn't kill her. Oh, he killed her. And then he tries to get a role on Sesame Street. And then the puppet wants him to give him a blowjob or something. <laughs> Creepy! And Titus is like, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that! And so then he realizes, wait a minute, I love Mikey! I should call him and go get back together with him! And then he goes back to surprise him. Hey, surprise, Mikey, I'm back home early! But then he finds out Mikey was cheating on him! He's moved on with somebody else! And then Titus is like, what the poop? Yeah, apparently he's a fan of the Fairly Odd Parents. What the poop? And then Kimmy decides, okay, you know, we played enough phone tag. Let me just let this poor guy off the hook. And then she's about to sign the divorce papers. But guess what happens? She finds out how much college actually costs. Even the cheapest of schools cost 20000 a year. And then she's like, what? I'm an overdriver. I can't afford that. I'm below the poverty line. And she realizes, wait a minute. The Reverend has a lot of swag. Before I divorce him, I can get his jet, his motor pudding, and the bottomless toy chest of wonder, or something like that. And then she can sell those things and get enough money to get into college. And thus begins what I assume will be a season long thing where she will take advantage of the Reverend for everything he's got. So far, yeah. This is uh, looking up to be a pretty good season. Yeah, I'm eager to see the next episode. So that's all for this episode, guys. Bye.